Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insolvent of Scott's Selections here for Wednesday, March 8th. For again, today's play of the day, a quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in basketball with the Knicks' first half, minus 5.5 and, and minus 125 on points bet. Knicks ended up leading by 16 at halftime. It's the fourth straight game. Charlotte has trailed by 16 or more at halftime. They are still the worst first-half team in the league. Knicks are still the best first-half team in the league. And we picked up a nice winner, and it felt even better since the Knicks blew the entire game and the cover in the full game in the second half, but that wasn't our problem. So nice winner for us. We have another winner here on Wednesday. And for today's play that they go into transition to tennis, we'll get a match between Jordan Thompson and Gail Monfee in Indian Wells taking place at around 9 p.m. Eastern time. And for this match, going to take the favorite in this one. Going to take Thompson on the money line at minus 143 on bet online. Time recording of 1 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings why we're going to take Thompson in the spot. First reason, we know Monfi, when he's at full strength, is easily a top 25 player in the world. The problem is he's been injured for the last seven months or so, so I do think he should struggle in his first match back in a while. He suffered a heel injury in the middle of last year, which kept him out of the clay court season. Then he came back for hard courts, and in Montreal, in one of his first matches back, he suffered a pretty bad leg injury, and as a result, he ended up missing the last seven months, and it's his first match since August of 2022. So I do think you're going to end up seeing Monfi struggle with either Rust or or just potential flatness in this match, while Thompson's been in pretty good form lately, lately, which I'll get into in a second. But to look at the quotes from Monfi, it seems like he's focused on a couple more long-term plans than the initial short-term, and I think as a result, you might see Monfi take it a little bit easy and make sure he gets through the match relatively unscathed health-wise instead of laying it all on the line in this match. So to read off the quote, he said, I think that you know that there is the protected ranking when you don't play for a certain amount of months, I know that if I take it, I have to not play in the Australian Open to reach the six months needed, and that will be my decision. 2023 is an important year for me, a year of transition, a transition between my injuries and the fact that I need to be competitive to try to qualify for Paris 2024. Talking about the Olympics because he is French, of course. I would not like to miss the Olympics. It would be my last one. I hope that 2024 will not be my last year, but maybe the one after that. In other words, Monfi is acknowledging that 2023 is going to be difficult because he's transitioning back from injury, and he seems very focused on qualifying for the Olympics, which is more of a long-term plan. For me, it says that Monfi is happy to be back on the court. He's going to definitely try to win the match, but I'm not expecting him to sprint down every ball that he could get to at full strength or full speed, I think he's going to try to be a little bit, I'd say, reluctant to actually use all of his athleticism in this match, and I think he's going to try to just get it through without getting injured again. But when you're focused on the Olympics, which is about a year and a half from now, I do think that's a sign that Monfi is kind of distracted, or at least not fully focused on winning this match. It seems like a pretty decent goal for him would be to stay healthy and to have a respectable showing. Thompson, though, on the other hand, has been playing very good tennis lately, and he is very good on hard court. It is his best surface. Thompson just won a challenger event uh, on hard court roughly two weeks ago in Georgia, and he did not drop a set in the entire tournament. Now, I know the challenger level of competition is a lot weaker than the ATP level, but Monfi, right off injury, having not played for seven months, I do think Thompson is in good, good enough form to win this match. And even if it goes maybe a competitive two sets or maybe into a third set, do I think Monfi's stamina? is going to be great having not played competitive tennis in seven months into a third set. I'm not sold on that prospect for Monfi, so I think that Thompson should be able to get the job done. And there is also the chance that Monfi maybe doesn't feel it 100%. Maybe he does retire mid-match. So that's kind of why I'm also using bet online because I know that they have the strict uh, house rules or the generous house rules, however you want to phrase it, of grading money line bets as winners if one full set is completed. So if Monfi ends up losing the first set and he decides that he can't handle it anymore and he retires, you still get the win on bet online and other books might not give it to you. But Thompson's in good form. Monfi, until I see him look anywhere near how good he looked in 2022 or maybe 2021, I'm a little bit skeptical on how sharp he's going to look. And I think Thompson should be a bigger favorite because of it, with all the uncertainty revolving around Monfi's performance after his long absence. But for me, I think this line is a little bit too short, so I'm going to take the favorite, and I think we'll get the job done. So play that once again here for Wednesday. March 8th is going to be on Jordan Thompson Moneyline at minus 143 on Bet Online. Bye, everyone.